Last time we talked about an almond grower who by using DRI had reduced his water use by over 60%. His soil moisture readings at 24 and 30 inches were actually higher for DRI than they were for FanJet. And the lab results for soil and leaf analyses showed that there was no significant difference in nutrient levels for trees irrigated by DRI compared to trees irrigated by FanJet. Today I want to talk about a kiwi grower in the Fresno area who by using DRI has reduced his water use by 51.6%. Agronomic consultant Alan Hoekstra authored this report. I'd like to break this report down for you in three easy to understand segments. Let's get started. Number one, water use difference. Alan used flow meters to ascertain the water use difference. Uh, with FanJet, the FanJet was showing a 6.4 gallon per minute rate of flow. DRI was showing a 3.1 gallon per minute rate of flow with a total reduction of 51.6% water use difference. It's important to note that water use and soil moisture differences are not a one-time observation by Alan Hoekstra. He's observing and documenting these differences throughout the course of the season. Number two, comparative soil moisture content. Alan used a handy trace uh, from soil moisture to get three different readings per tree, one at 12, one at 24, and one at 30. He took an average of five trees on DRI and five trees on FanJet. As you can see, the soil moisture readings at one foot are higher for FanJet because they're dumping 51.6% more water on the surface of the ground. But at 24 and 30 inches, the soil moisture readings are dramatically higher for DRI. Look at some of these numbers here. 24 inches, you got 30, 24, 19, 24, and 24.25. And for FanJet, you've got 19, 12, 9, 13, and 13.25. At 30 inches DRI, you've got 22, 15, 12, 18, 16.75. And then at FanJet, at 30 inches, considerably lower numbers for FanJet, 6, 3, 2, 9, and 5. So at 24 and 30 inches, the soil moisture content is considerably higher with DRI. Again, 51.6% less water. Number three. Comparative plant health. As you can see, the, the kiwis on DRI and the kiwis on FanJet both look good. Let's take a look at the lab report. The lab report showing the, the tissue and analytical report uh, between uh, kiwi vines on DRI and kiwi vines on FanJet show almost identical nutrient value. I mean, look at the nitrogen, the phosphorus, the potassium, the phosphates, which are necessary for quantity and quality of yield. And remember, the DRI is at a 51.6% water reduction, which means it's also at 51.6% fertigation reduction, because this grower has not made any adjustments to his fertigation blend. So with that dramatic reduction of water use, he has also cut his fertilizer use by that much. Very important to know. In summary... The effectiveness of DRI to target deliver water and nutrients directly to the root zone has given this kiwi grower more control over his irrigation and fertigation than he's ever had before. So we know that for some of you, this just sounds way too good to be true. But the best way to really develop confidence in this product and to understand it is to start using it. Let's get units installed in your orchards. Let's get units installed in your vineyards. Let's get you hooked up with one of our reps who will work closely with you and your field personnel. This is not a complicated product. It's actually very simple. So contact us. Reach out to us at that website below. And uh, don't forget to like us and, 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 and share us with your friends. And hit that subscribe button below so that you can get more of these presentations. And until next time, take care.